We've all heard the phrase, there's no I in team. Whether it has been in sports, the classroom, at work, or as part of any other group, the words are always ringing in our ears, telling us to be better team members, to not be selfish, that we can't all take the credit for everything. However, we cannot spell team without using the letters that spell me as well. So even if you can't say there is an I in team, you can say there is a me. A team does not magically become great once a group of people decide to get together. It becomes so when individuals work hard to make it great. Each and every one of us has the potential to bring something to the table, but we need to first work on bettering ourselves so that we in turn better the team, no matter how large or small. That is where the me really is. When I first came to Topeka High, I felt as though I could not have a team. I came from a very small school with an eighth grade graduating class of 10. Yes, you heard that right, 10. None of whom came to Topeka High along with me. Let's just say it was quite a shock coming to a school where my individual class was over 50 times as big as my eighth grade class, and I went from knowing everything about everyone to not knowing one single person. It also did not help that I was shy and scared, worried that I would make a fool of myself if I did anything of the outgoing sorts. What I did not realize at the time was that on the very first day, each of us were becoming a part of something much bigger than ourselves. We were joining a new team unknowing of what our individual contributions would be. High school was a time for us to learn how to balance focusing on ourselves as well as on others. A time to find who we are, or at least who we know we do not want to be. A team is not made of people all doing the same thing, rather every person plays a different role to create a complete and cohesive group we call the class of 2016. There are those who are focused on academics, those who give back their time and effort to the school and community through service, and those who pursue their passions, whether they be art, music, sports, or other clubs. The scholars keep up with the class GPA, help teachers with tutoring others, and are the leaders in the classroom. The volunteers go out and bring the school and community closer to better the environment, and the creatives write to the school when they share their gifts and talents. The students that make up our class are constantly floating across multiple groups and we all make a contribution without which our high school team would not be complete. By being a part of multiple groups, I personally stepped out of my comfort zone. The classroom taught me to speak up so the freshman acting class can hear me from the stage as they sit in row K at the auditorium. Service clubs prove to me that time is valuable and should not be wasted on two naps a day, maybe one. And the arts showed me that other people really do enjoy listening to my piano practicing, no matter how repetitive it gets. All of these have formed the person I am today while still shaping the person I want to become making me find a balance between putting myself first, such as going to bed by 10, no matter how much homework I had, and putting others first, such as staying up way past my bedtime to finish the final requirements for the group project. Up to this point, we have only been members of a fraction of the teams we will take part in throughout our lives. After today, we will leave the Topeka High team and join new ones. The majority of us will either continue on to more schooling, or start a new job, or join the military, or start a family. Many of these occurring at the same time. What is important to remember is that the experiences we gain from each team will carry over to what we offer to the other teams as an individual. From high school, if we take nothing from the classroom, we have at least learned how to interact with others from every imaginable background. We will carry this as a skill to our next team, and it will be another stepping stone to improve the meeting.
As each of us moves on to the next stage of our lives, just remember that you are always part of a team. And although there may not be an I in team, there most certainly is a me. Never lose sight of the me of the team when focusing on the me. And never lose sight of the me when focusing on the team. Congratulations, class of 2016, and best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Congratulations, Elizabeth, Lydia, and Samantha, and congratulations to the High School Class of 2016.